since I have some awesome guys on TikTok right now listening, I'm thinking, may I have your opinion, please? What is it with men these days and not wanting to date? Do you guys have a fear of commitment? Is it the woman these days? Does it have anything to do with spending money on women? Does it have anything to do with trust issues? Maybe dating apps? Maybe you feel like there are endless options in terms of significant others? Please let me know in the comments. Here's some crazy research for you. So a third of men, 33%, a little over a third of men between the ages of 18 and 29 are not only single, but they're not actively looking for a partner. The same study said that by the year 2030, that 45% of women between the ages of 20 and 45 will be single. So I've got a question for the men because I see it all the time in my comments. Most of my comments are filled with guys saying we're done. We don't, we're not looking, we like our peace. I need some more talk from you guys. Tell me why you're done. Tell me why you don't want to have a partner in life. Tell me why it's more worth it to be single than to have a partner. Even if you weren't to remarry, just to have a partner. I mean, I've talked to a lot of men. I've got my answers, but I want to hear it in the comments. So please drop it in the comments. What happened to men pursuing girls? When was the pivotal moment that a man chose to not go after a girl anymore or put in any effort? It seems like guys can just put the bare minimum and not even really put in effort anymore. They don't really care to. Or they're like, why don't girls just go and make the first move and make the effort? When did it become a thing? Now it's like role reversal where they expect girls to be making the first moves, yearning for a guy and chasing him. That is, I feel like, the downfall of why it's so hard to meet someone because men don't put in effort anymore or don't care to put in effort. And a relationship won't work unless the guy likes the girl just a tiny little bit more. He's got, he has to like her just the tiniest bit more for it to work in the long haul. So it would make sense if a guy really wanted to get to know you that he would go leaps and bounds to get to know you. And when did that shift? Because back in my mom's era, if a guy wanted to take you out on a date, he had to go up to you, he had to get your number, he had to go through lengths to try to talk to you, even if you weren't interested at first. How my parents met? They met at a bar, and my dad asked for my mom to dance, and my mom was like, get out of here. She, did, she wanted nothing to do with him. And if he had just left and listened to her, they would have never gone married, they would have never had kids. But he was persistent. He wanted to take her out on a date so badly. He was like, what do I have to do to take you out on a date? She was working late their first date, so he went to her work, picked her up, prepped a dinner, took her to a park, just planned the whole thing. He wrote her poetry. He was yearning. How my aunt and my uncle met. My aunt was a dancer on a cruise ship and he was the photographer and he was persistent. She overheard him one night saying to his buddy, he was like, I'm going to marry that girl. He had just met her and now they're married and they have two kids together. I don't hear anything like that now. Now we're praising eye contact. Now we're praising if a guy held a door open to us and smiled. That is, that is what we're praising. It feels so backwards. I, and I just wonder how, when it shifted because I feel like that is the whole downfall of why it's so hard to meet someone now because men just don't care anymore. The modern absurd attitude of most women, the fact that most of them are raging sexists, the fact most of them are putrid, vile, disgusting degenerates, the fact that many of them have slept with more men than I have masturbated in my life, the list is truly endless. A lot of Gen Z men are not interested in women because women are not interested in them. I'm not sure I understand why there are women who like the bad boy and the man who treats them badly. Perhaps it's an urban myth. Most men are not like that. Men need to be wanted. Men need to be virile. Talk to the average married man who is losing interest in his wife and he will tell you it's not because she's getting older and has lost her 20-year-old body. It's because his wife only has sex as an obligation like she's doing the man a favor. That's a huge turnoff. It's emasculating. However, it works well for women who rapidly lose interest in sex with age. They turn their husbands off, and then they don't have to deal with sex. Of course, then he cheats, and she divorces him. Modern women are being trained to be men. If you put women in a vacuum, they would want to be women. But society, aka feminist movement, is not going to let that happen. Don't get me wrong, there were some important things that feminist movements corrected, but like everything in our society, they overcorrected. Part of that overcorrection was the idea that women don't need men. Women are taught they can serve in every role that a man used to hold. Need a protector? Take a kickboxing class and carry pepper spray? Need someone to be stable in emotional situations? Deny your own nature? 
Need someone to take care of the house? Learn to do it yourself, or flirt with a guy friend who is handy. Want to have a baby? Go to the sperm bank and raise it alone, but demand special treatment from work that men can't get. So the bottom line, the less women need men, the less they want men. Pile on top of that, the fact that laws for divorce have not kept up. Women are completely independent, but when a divorce happens, the courts treat them like they are helpless. What's in it for a man? You get to live with a person who is being taught that you are the root of all evil, that you are unnecessary, and when she decides to leave you, you will pay dearly for it. By the way, last time I checked, when a man and woman get married, the man runs an 80% chance his wife will divorce him, and the woman runs a 20% chance the man will leave her. Women don't want us. So instead of Gen Z men spending their money on child support and alimony, they'd rather buy boats, great houses, and nice cars. Then, because they have all that, there will be an endless stream of women who will have sex with them in the hopes that they want to share it. And although these men would love to find one woman that will want them for their entire lives, a woman who wants them for a little while will do. Ask around about this, anecdotally, relationships last three to four months without infidelity. That's how long it takes for a woman to lose interest and for it to become clear the man doesn't want to give away his stuff. And porn? Well, the entire sex industry is a microcosm of this. Look at what women are now doing to be more like men and how their minds have warped to justify it. I offended a young lady discussing her dating profile. It said she was looking for a mutually beneficial relationship and her love language was gifts. I asked, so basically, you want money and presents from a man in exchange for your companionship? She happily agreed, but then did not like it when I suggested it is the definition of a sex worker. It's just an unwinnable battle. Women have destroyed the dating world with their cancerous thoughts and feminist agenda to the point men are giving up and seeking a different single lifestyle without the drama or stress. They were given the opportunity for a stable life with a decent genuine man and gave them the middle finger in response. They chose the path of dating losers and their fake bullshit while pushing their female friends to do the same. Preaching of men who are six foot tall with six figures in their early twenties, which does not exist nearly as much as women thought. They shot themselves in the foot and now struggle during this recession. Meanwhile, the men they fucked over are living a better lifestyle with improved mental and physical health, money in the bank, and better physical fitness without the burden of lies, drama, and false accusations. What can be done to improve it? You cannot improve this fucked up dating scene. It's too far gone to save or worth saving. Best to let things play their part. More women will fail and struggle, while more men will live in harmony without the destruction to stop them. You can't unsuck a dick. You can't unfuck the entire lacrosse team and the basketball team. Stuck in the matter is for probably 70% of the women here in America. It's already far too late for them. They will die alone indulging in situationship after situationship until finally they don't have an option but to buy a cat and die alone. That's all for today on manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.